My level of excitement is like through the roof. Big exciting things happening. Look how fast that wall went up. So we are marking everything just so we know where studs are because we are going to put in shelving. So shelving, um, this is going to be a bench. So we need to know where to drill in our studs. So of course we marked it. So it might look a little funky right now, but we're going to clean it up, give it a nice fresh coat of paint. It's going to be beautiful, gorgeous, I tell you, gorgeous. doing up there testing out the how bed. comfortable is the bed oh except we're gonna gain like six inches yeah when will it be over so what's your mental state right about now defeated feel defeated. I want to burn this place down. Just kidding. It'd be too easy. Hey guys. Hey guys. We're here for another RV update. We have done a lot since last time, so let's take a little tour. Last time we left you guys, we had just finished putting up the ceiling, which it looks amazing, if I don't say so myself. We took a poll on Instagram and asked you guys whether we should leave it as is or stain it or whitewash it. And everyone kind of leaned towards staining it, so we're probably gonna stain it a little darker. So that's where we left you. Anyways, we went ahead and started putting up all the walls. So we have nice, beautifully clean white walls. Just kidding. They might look a little bit grungy right now because they're actually repurposed. So my dad had these laying around. I feel like I've said that a couple times, like my dad has stuff laying around. So we end up using it and it ends up working out perfectly. So this is actually 1 8 inch pressed hardboard. So we saw these also online and I think they run for like 14 bucks, but we actually got them for my dad, which saved us a lot of money. They're not the cleanest, um, they are repurposed, so there's a little bit of splatter in some areas, but we're gonna paint them. We're gonna probably go with like an off-white. Um, so don't worry, this will look much nicer after we paint them. And then we, of course, we had to mark all the studs. Um, our electrical, we went ahead and marked that as well so we could know exactly where our electrical's running through so that we don't uh, cause a short. So we're not quite done with all the walls. Uh, we still have a couple pieces left over here in the closet area and then this back wall for the bed. So we should finish that up today. Another thing that we've been up to is we've been putting the rest of these support beams. So it's just one inch metal tubing that we've been using to give the RV a bit more structure. And the best part of that is that we can start to see everything just come together. We have our countertop right here for the kitchen, a little space for the oven, and then all our cabinets. And then back here, you can see the bathroom taking shape. Oh, and we also got our shower pan in, which we got to install that. And then over here on this side, more metal tubing for the cabinets that we're going to have above the living room area. And again, all of this just for extra stability. That's mostly what we've been up to these last couple of days and since the last update. Why are you breathing so heavily? Goat milk. <laughs> that was milking really my goat. Look, that's just one. Ew. That's one goat right there. And then you drink it. Your coffee or cereal. Or... I know, I can't grasp. I can't, I can't. It's just milk. I know. Oh. It's mostly what we've been up to these last couple of days since the last update. We also did put in a wheel well cover on one side and we started building up this side as well because we actually need to start running all of our water because we got a lot of our water supplies in. So we're going to continue building up this base which is going to be in a completely elevated like platform where we have two seats and a 
table. But we're gonna continue today. We'll take you along with us as we hopefully run all of our water system and I finish those walls. So let's get started. Since we got our water tank and water heater in, we have to start framing it. So we're going to start building the frame for it, which is also the couch. We ordered a 30 gallon water tank, which is about the same size I was in here before. And we're going to stick to the same idea that they had and storing the water tank inside the couch. And it's a great space saving idea it's out of the way. And we still have access to it. We also order our water heater, which we were back and forth to go electric or to go propane. And we ended up going electric. Uh, we think it's gonna be a lot easier. And it does run off of 120 AC, which we actually have the inverter. So we're gonna go ahead and plug into that. Anyway, it's really compact and it's and all of the water system, the pump, all of that is gonna fit right into our sofa. <music> basic understanding of how everything goes connected from a diagram there's tons of diagrams online but you know you kind of have to figure out which way you're going to orient certain things depending on your own space so that's what we're trying to do right now and while i wait for the guys i'm going to attempt to cut out that piece it almost beat me i was so close to giving up and now i just need to make sure i don't forget why am i doing it but guys i think i cut it I always measure wrong. Come on, come on. Yay! Hey. Woo! Hey, that's pretty perfect. Oh my gosh! Yeah. The first one that I cut once, and it fits. So I'm just gonna nail glue it and brad it up. Staple it up. Done, guys. Put in that beautiful wall over there we almost have all our walls all we need is to install this bad boy and we have all our walls while the men over here haven't got much done actually i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding it's been a lot of trying to figure it out they had to go buy a couple things what did you have to buy hops uh some clamps and the some of this teflon paste. teflon paste just to make sure that no leaks there's no leaks so get yourself some teflon paste all right did we figure out how we're doing it are we mounting everything yes ma'am well, the pump already, as well it's already mounted to we mounted it to or we the screwed pump. it down to the floor. oh okay so the pump's on the Five floor accumulators. accumulators vent pipe drain uh, inlet to the water, Holy to your pump, moly. and you got yourself a cutoff valve right there. That turns off your water from your pump, from your tank to your pump. And we got your filter in yes. the pump. It'll turn off and on when you turn on your water. Turn it off. So tank to the pump, to the pump to the accumulator, accumulator to the rest of the system to, to the, the water heater to the water and heater the and the city uh, inlet. Oh, okay. The city water inlet. Oh man. We do progress. Are you, are you confident in your system over here? I think yes, I think I am. Um that doesn't sound very confident. Well, obviously when we get water through it and it works, then they will see. confident. <laughs> but I was just telling Joanne that I'm glad I'm seeing this like firsthand from the ground up because I know exactly what goes where and what could possibly be problems in the future. So how are you guys going about this? We'll just Google a bunch of different diagrams and um, follow the instructions. Yeah. When combine different ones, didn't you? When all else fails. Combine different ones, combine the expertise of your dads, and there we go. On the YouTube shows. 
<laughs> yeah, eventually we'll probably provide our own diagram on how all this is hooked up. There's already tons out there, but I'll just share our hours anyway. And also our electrical system. But for now, let's see if we can get this all hooked up before we call it a day. Guys, I don't know if we've mentioned this before, but we probably would have taken on this project if it wasn't us knowing that my dad would be able to help us. <laughs> Save the day! Yeah. Probably taking us about two years. Okay guys, so for us to put up the last wall, the last wall, we had to figure out our electrical and how we were gonna put our wires through the wall. So we made a box for our fuse box. So this is gonna go in here, super tight fit. So you gotta like, boom, oh, perfect, perfect. All those wires are gonna come through the box and into the fuse box, which is gonna go- It's upside down. Right there. <laughs> it's fine, it's just a demo. But we had to cut out a little space so that all our wires wouldn't be squashed and it's still flush. Oh my gosh, it's perfect, look at that. So we are gonna mount the box, just the box. We can pull this out still, because we're not ready to put all, to run all the electrical to the batteries and everything not just yet so we're gonna just mount the box to the wall we're gonna cut out a box put that bad boy up and then we're done finally okay so let's do that so that's what that looks like so we can run all the wire from our fixtures into the or out of the fuse box and all the wires just come through here and then right now we're gonna place the last piece of the wall sidetracked along the way but we finally finished the walls <laughs> all the walls are done we started the plumbing started the electrical but we got the walls done and I'm happy to say it looks great in there so far but that's it for today guys we are beat my lips are like so chapped my hands are disgusting Javier doesn't even be on, want to be on camera anymore because his face is covered in dirt no, I'm just kidding but guys um, that's all for today Hope you enjoyed our update, but we'll see you in the next one. So if you did like the video, you know the drill, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing because we publish great content about random stuff all the time and it's great. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. Subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell so you get updated when we post. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Put on your face.